Welcome to the Wolves Den and another action figure review. Today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends figure of X-23 from the current Deadpool wave. This wave is the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure wave and the Build-A-Figure piece she comes with, as you can see here, is the giant upper torso. But we're not really concerned about that. We want to see X-23, so let's bust her out of the package and take a closer look at her. Taking a look at her articulation, see that her head does rotate fully around. Hair really doesn't get in the way too badly, but it does prevent her from looking up at all. But she can look down quite well there. Arms rise pretty high to the side at the shoulder there, and then she does have full rotation. Elbows rotate, and then she has the single elbow bend. Wrists rotate, and then they rock in and out. Waist does turn fully around, and then she does have some very minimal uh, ab crunch here. She can rock a little side to side and back and forth. Not very far at all, though. Legs rock, go mm, not too far off to the side there but they do go fully 90 degrees forward. She does have the thigh swivel, double jointed knees, rotation at the boots, and then the feet rock up and down, and then they can rock side to side. And that is her articulation. All right, getting a closer look at the details of the figure, we have this very nice head sculpt. Really nice job on the face here. It's a very nice looking, very distinct head sculpt. Really nice paint apps on the lips and the teeth there. Really good job on the mask. Got the red eyes in there. Got this kind of angry scowl going on here. And her flowing hair. Really, really nice head sculpt. And then going down, we see some nice paint apps on her costume here. Just black and gray, but it still looks really nice. We've got her belt that sits loose here. You can see they actually screwed up the paint apps on mine. I'm probably going to touch that up with just some black paint. Really easy to do. Nice look of the belt here. Got the the X-Men symbol there. You see her claws. And uh, as near as I can tell, those do not come out. They're glued in place. And I do like her boots here. Got the buckles and everything. Really, really cool looking boots, actually. All right, she doesn't come with any accessories. This is all you get, but it's really a nice looking figure. And now for my final thoughts. My only complaint about this figure is something I wish they would have included that they didn't. And that is an extra set of hands without the claws extended. They've done this on other figures in the past where they included extra sets of hands for figures. And I don't know why they couldn't have done that with this figure. But I just thought it would have been a nice little feature. Either that or make it so these claws in her hands would you know, pop out and maybe snap back in. That would have been nice too. But as it is, this is still a really nice figure. Nice sculpt. Nice paint apps, especially on the face. They did a really excellent job on the head sculpt here. Really nice looking figure. Do like this one a lot. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope to see you soon again for some more action figure reviews. Until then, thanks for watching.